welcome to the last episode of Young Turks for 2010. I'm Shireen. The retail boom in India has inspired many an entrepreneur, but Jagupta's multi-brand chain of retail stores called The Loot quite literally steals the show. Number one on our list of top 10 Young Turks for 2010, The Loot is an all-season, all-sale retail format that offers discounts up to 60% on over 100 brands through the year. Jay has today set up 160 stores across 80 cities in India, grossing revenues of 100 crore rupees last year. Well, congratulations, Harsh Gurinder and Jay for making it to the top three of the Young Turks poll for 2010. Thanks very much for joining us on this special show. Jay, let me start by asking you, clearly the year has ended on a high note considering the fact that you've been voted the number one Young Turk for 2010. But take us through the journey so far. What's it been like? Has 2010 been a good year for you in terms of business and your plans? Financially, it was a big challenge to support the company this year because we have still not gone into private equity or any dilution as on date. So, uh, yeah, it was a very a challenging moment financially. But otherwise, I think the team has stabilized. A lot of learning curves have come in. I think some best practices within the organization have been concluded. We are more clear of how to take this company forward. Uh, I think this knowledge which has come in, I think, uh, should give great results in 2011. And I'm sure that 2011, we should see an IPO of the loot, which is one of the things which we are charged for. And we are, we are very excited to hit uh, the stock market finally. They probably 2011, we should be able to be list. We should be a limited company in 2011. Well, Jay, it's good to hear that you are soon going to be looking at the stock market. So, hope to see you there soon. But, Guninder, let me come to you now. It's been quite a ride for Coco Berry in 2010. But, what perhaps has been the biggest, most important lesson for you as an entrepreneur through this past year? Uh, the biggest lesson for us as a brand is trying to understand the challenges entering different markets. Uh, which are either city specific or uh, even area specific in certain cities. So just understanding the demographic behavior and profile of customers. And uh, the other challenge has been being a new brand and a new product. Uh, we have had to invest significantly in terms of customer education and uh, planning our media strategy based on that. So uh, we would look forward to over the next uh, year or so innovating in terms of our communication with uh, through our, to our customers through a conventional as well as unconventional media and educate themselves, uh, the customers about the brand and also the product. All right, let's go across now to Harsh. He joins us all the way from Australia via Skype. Harsh, many thanks for joining us. It's been a dream innings for Dream 11. We're just two months away from the World Cup and India is going to be playing host. So for you and your venture, how are you planning to cash in? Well, the future plans for dreamland.com is obviously to make sure that the World Cup and IPL, which is happening from uh, Feb till April next, uh, till May next year, is a huge success for us. And we continue to exponentially add on to our 6 lakh registered users so far. And, um, you know, the main thing that we're focusing on is adding to our existing network of affiliates. Right, Harsh, here's wishing you the very best of luck. Guninder, back to you. Give us a heads up of what we can expect from Coco Berry in 2011. Uh, we're planning to take our band nationally. We're opening in multiple cities in 2011. Uh, we hope to have about 100 plus outlets by the end of 2011. Uh, we are also looking at some international expansion strategy for Coco Berry. Uh, we've had uh, significant studies done on neighboring markets uh, like the Middle East and Southeast Asia. And we will uh, look forward to entering one of these markets in 2011 as a test market for us. Uh, the other thing we're planning to do with Coco Berry is uh, to really promote it as a health and uh, wellness lifestyle brand and innovate with the brand introducing new products. Well, that's the outlook for Coco Berry. But Jay, back to you. What can we expect for loot in the coming year? This year we'll be focusing on, uh, on a bigger size store, which we had not focused since last two years. Also, from the top line point of view, we are looking at least at 140 crore this year. So, I think that will bring a, <coughs> a, lot, a good fund flow in the system. Also, our bottom line is now becoming much healthier because more or less in retail, the first cost uh, to sustain the cost is uh, very difficult. So, our cost has been frozen. Whether we manage now 150 stores or 300 stores, our cost is not going to change much as far as back-end is concerned. So, I think the if we are able to scale, our bottom line and top line both should... Uh, 
yeah, both the numbers should be very good. Well, gentlemen, congratulations to you and thank you very much for joining us and sharing your lessons and your insights with our viewers. On that note, it's time for us to wrap up this Young Turks special. Congratulations to our Young Turks Top 10 and thank you very much to our viewers for your overwhelming response to our poll. It's time for us to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. Remember, we're now available on Facebook, so do log on to our Facebook page and join the Young Turks community. We'll see you with a spanking series of Young Turks in 2011. Until then, from the team, goodbye. Thanks for watching.